Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle and today's video is another Set my stars. We gonna make a basket. So I'm back with another Shop My Stash Weekly Makeup Basket. I'm gonna show you all the makeup that we used last week, what I thought of it, share some pictures of some different looks, and then we'll be choosing some new products to use for this week. So I am back to my old setup. Let me know if you like this better or seeing my face. But I miss the actual shopping the stash portion. So hopefully we'll do that in today's video. And I'm back in my bedroom. I was in the pink beauty room. But I am back to this room right here. Got some makeup and stuff over here. We still got scribbles. You know, like... My kids don't scribble all over my whole house. But um yeah go ahead and like this video if you do like <laughs> shop my stash videos i do post this video every single week here on my channel and you don't want to miss out on that and now let's go ahead and get into today's video so um for foundation situation i did use this one on my birthday i believe or did i use it another day i don't remember which day but it was nice concealer is fine we have a primer there this eyeshadow great for one and done i'm gonna actually leave it in um, this is in a project pan. It's just okay. Um, let's see what we have here. Your concealer. That can definitely stay in. And then for blush, Dior gotta stay. Been using that a ton. This MAC blush is pretty, but it can go now. It's just a nice, soft, like, brownie pink look on me. This is in a project pan. This I kind of want a project pan. Um, I kind of want a project pan. This bronzer blush situation. I'm going to leave in to see if I can throw it into a project pan soon. I didn't get to use my Westman Cellier highlighter. That one can stay. And this Dodo blush didn't get used enough. So this one also can stay. And um, I was been using these lashes, Matte Velvet by Kiss. And they're really good. I'm going to throw up some eyeshadow looks for you guys to see. Pat McGrath. I did use this palette a ton. I didn't get to use the purple look that I was going to do. And here I found my insert. I'm going to stick it in later. Um, so yeah. But I did do some other looks with the uh, Huda. Mostly everything was like goldy looks. I mostly just used Tom Ford or Urban Decay. So I, I just have sparkles on my lid all the time. It's just easy. I've been on the run a lot i've recently been trying out this day light protection airy sunscreen by neogen derm derm dermology i think is what you say it. intensive defense spf 50 i've been on the hunt for a good spf 50 so far i think i like this um not too heavy on the skin i'm not sure if it's breaking me out my skin has been a little bit itchy lately it could be a number of things but hopefully it's not the sunscreen but let me know what your favorite SPF 50 is. Um, I've been using SPF 30, but I need the higher protection. So I'm trying this one out. It's going to stay in. I'm just moving it out so we can see what we're doing here. Chanel highlighter lives in here. The Charlotte Tilbury powder is living in here. This flower beauty powder one, I want that to go into a project. Eyebrow stuff, mascara stuff. I definitely been loving the Charlotte Tilbury one. Leaving that one in. Um... And then we just got lips to talk about, which is a lot, but we're going to get through it. And I did use this one, which is in a project pan, so this one can stay. But we are going to pick some new um, base products today. So, this is in a project pan. This one I absolutely loved. It's in the shade Boy by Chanel. And it's this pretty color. I'm holding my phone with one hand, so I can't show you. But you guys seen it in the last video. I use this one a ton. Beautiful on its own with the liner over the top of the lipsticks. Love the glossy formula. This Gucci Lip Beige, I use a ton for months now. And that one can go back, so I can leave this one in. This is in a project pan. This one was not my favorite. It's smeared, and I don't know if the liner sucked or not but i think it was a lipstick but i'm gonna go ahead and put both of these back pat mcgrath um perma gel liner and the shade i think it says wonderlust and then this one i believe was elson 3 which i did wear in a video um so yeah there's that so these can go back and then um this chanel liner <laughs> one half broke the lip 
brush part but this nude brown um maybe can stay so it can match with this lipstick and then this lipstick is long wearing it can stay i love that kylie one this gloss i didn't use enough so i think i'm gonna let it stay this is in a project pan and then um the summer fridays lip balm is what i've been using lately so i'm just gonna tuck that in over there i think um let's see this uh gloss can go back but i'm probably gonna put it in again next week and then this one was lovely it is what some people probably want claire to be claire's like my all-time favorite this one just has a little bit more umph i wore it um to coffee with my mother-in-law and it was amazing i love the way i looked in it that berry flush that you want in the fall and winter time it's going to go back but it will definitely be pulled again and this lip gloss is very pretty it didn't really make a dramatic difference on top of the red but on its own it's also very pretty and this plumping one is nice these all can go back so we can make room for some new lip products and this little felt thing is disgusting um so yeah let's go ahead and shop our stash okay so i am going to do a declutter soon i don't have a primer that i want to use um concealer i think we're good um maybe we should just pull out this armani one to get a little bit of use and we'll rotate our way through these other concealers but for foundation um, I'm going to pull out this Halo one because I think it's something I may want to project pan. If not, maybe just get rid of it. I remember really liking that one. There's crust everywhere. This Armani one I really love and I want to get some use on it. So we're going to pull this one out for the week. Um, I don't think we need anything from these drawers. This is the lip drawer. And I think we'll be pulling out some new glasses and such. So... I can pull anything from there, but um, this concealer will be used. Let's hop over here to lip products. Um, I do want to use... Which one? Um, this purpley one looks nice. Sorry, the lighting is kind of bad in this area. My ring light is over there. I didn't want to have to move it and stuff, but yeah. We're going to go with this um, Hot Toddy by Too Faced. And they haven't came out with this holiday set this year yet i don't know if they will or not but if they will i'll definitely pick them up and lip swatch them for you guys um i don't think i'll pick any lipsticks because well maybe let's see um let's do janet rust in case one of the other lipsticks don't work out lip liner i think we're good on um this is bronzer which i think we're going to pull out um some chanel bronzers which are on my shelf so i'll show you that in a minute highlighter we're good i'm using my chanel highlighter we have a blushes which i think i'm going to pull out some orangey blushes um since we're now officially in fall time i think some nice fall colors would be good for this time around um let's see okay it's this one back here all right we have what are you called sunset sky by m cosmetics and one sec we're gonna look in here for a second we're gonna pull out what color we're we gonna pull out i know for sure this guy oops don't drop my little makeup bag this dior one can go in um i know there's a pumpkin -y one that my daughter gave me okay here we are um uh, fantasy makers by wet and wild and the shade uh let's get smashed cute orangey jack-o-lantern type of blush so we have our two orangey blushes we have my pinky one um highlighter we're good on highlighter so let's shop for eyeshadow oh so here is where i have the chanel cream bronzer that i want to use and the powder bronzer that i want to use these are expensive i want to get use on them um they're very orangey on my skin so i think now will be the perfect time i do want to look like a pumpkin so might as well pull these guys out it's almost dropped them four palettes there's one down here that i want to get so let me grab it really quickly it 
is the color rain queen of hearts palette that i want to pull out there's a great orange that i want to use i do want to test out the tartlets what are you called tubing mascara my phone's not focusing and then another eyeshadow palette that i want to use is the mini gold by natasha denona this one was um on sale it went out of stock came back in stock and i grabbed it and went back out of stock and now it's back in stock so currently while i'm filming this um it is in stock it has some great green and gold colors so i'm hoping this one will be a good fall palette and i also did pick up this guy the sephora favorites holiday lip kit i am gonna pull in everything see what i use what i don't use and then we'll go from there next week um but i do have a favorite that's in here if you see my review on this you would know which one it is also did post um some tiktok videos on this so make sure you're following me over there so let's go ahead and um how am i gonna do this i want to swatch things but i don't know how that's gonna work let's just try to put things up real quick okay i don't know how these things are gonna fit in here so we're throwing our chanel cream bronzer here um then we have this bronzer which i have a whole review on if you want to see what the color looks like i'll just throw her right there hopefully it fits nicely then we have these two blushes which i've used these um before so check back on other videos if you want to see what these look like i think we might may just swatch like some eyeshadow and lip products um nice like liquidy blush to go with our orange theme i like pairing this one with let's get smashed super beautiful then we have this lip and this lip i may wait to put those up so i can swatch we have our armani concealer which is just gonna go right here um and also our two complexion products the armani foundation and the halo i'm gonna put my sunscreen on top of that so i can apply my skincare this and then foundation over the top um blah. Blah. So, oopsie looks like she wants to come in this basket today but maybe not today all right let me show you okay I'm going to swatch this orangey shade. What other shade? And I guess this cranberry shade. Those two shades for you guys to see what this palette is all about. So hopefully you guys can get a good idea. So yeah, I'm going for that pumpkin latte type of theme. So that is palette number one. Palette number two, we're going to take this guy out and swatch like one or two green shades. And then I guess we'll get to our Libby products and then we will conclude this video. So here is what the green palette looks like. So stunning. Cannot wait to get into that army green. And then this gold color looks amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these on the back of my hand. Okay, so here are the shades. We have a khaki color, a like blackish shimmery color, and we have a gold color, a green color, and more of like a taupey with like shimmer in it type of green brown color. So yeah, very beautiful for fall. Cannot wait to dive right into this baby little palette. We're going to put him or her right there, whatever they are. Okay, and let's go ahead and jump into this thing right here we are not going to swatch this because i have a whole video of swatches and stuff so i'm just going to pop these in these reds were not my favorite i'll let you know that right now this color is a little funky for me this one's not my favorite either so i'm gonna just not include that so these three will be in and then i did enjoy these last three so we have plenty of nude options and you know i'm going to keep reaching for that chanel one because it's beautiful too because it was expensive so we have those products right there i'll organize them in a second and then i'll just quickly swatch these um so you can see what these look like so we have the gucci right here which is more of an orangey orangey red and then more of a like a warm brick red 
I would say, I don't know what how to describe that color, but it's very beautiful for fall. So we're gonna go ahead and use these two lips. Um, I'm gonna organize everything. Okay, I think this may be the best I can get things looking. Let me see, hold on. Okay, maybe that's the best I can get it to look. Well, we have plenty of options. Project pan, project pan stuff. Um, this is also project pan and things that I just want to get used on. So let me know um, if you like this format or the sit down format where you see my face. Let me know if you like this format better or if you like seeing my face. I gotta run because my kiddos are calling but let me know what you're using for this week if you own any of these products what you think of them how you're doing i hope you're all having a fabulous day and i'll see you all in my next video take care Mwah. bye